Today's question is also from an Airbnb owner, and she wants to know should she charge extra on her Airbnb listing for a cleaning fee? All right, here's how that works. It all comes down to marketing and advertising because there are guests, and I myself am an Airbnb guest. We've traveled all over the world and I've stayed at all different kinds of vacation rental by owners and Airbnbs. And so when I look for, and I'm speaking from my personal experience, when I look for the listings, I'm looking for the highest rating review at the lowest price, right? That's how most savvy consumers are. They want to get the most for their money. Now, if you charge a cleaning fee, the cleaning fee can be separate, but that raises the bottom dollar. And so it's the overall price. So if you have a two night minimum, I would recommend that for two nights, you build the cost of the cleaning into the price of your room. So it doesn't look like you have on an added fee. And so somebody that's going to come stay for one or two nights, if you have a single stay or you have like a two night stay, I would recommend that you build that into the price of the night so that it's just the flat fee and they come and they stay and they go. That way it still allows you to hire a cleaner or to pay yourself. Now, if you've clicked on the little option on your Airbnb listing that says you pay a living wage promise, that means whoever comes in to clean your place, you promise to pay them living wages. And so if you click that, that also applies to you. So if you are an Airbnb host and you do your own cleaning, you you still need to check that button and you still need to get paid. It's your time and your energy resetting the place and cleaning up and getting ready for the next guest. So you have to pay somebody or you have to do it yourself. And if you do it yourself, you should still get paid. So there needs to be a cleaning fee. But now when you go to a hotel, which is the competition for an Airbnb, You just go to the hotel and you don't pay a separate cleaning fee for the staff that works at the hotel, right? They come in and they clean the rooms and they put new linens and stuff in the showers and they come in every day. And it's nice if you tip the hotel staff or you tip the Airbnb staff, but that is not a separate charge at the hotel that is built into the price of the hotel. So if you are having a two night minimum, you may want to add, take the price of the cleaning and split it in half and add that onto the each night price so that you are able to pay yourself and pay your cleaning person. And so that charge, I mean, you got to get it from somewhere. If you have a week-long rental or you have a vacation rental or something, there is an expected cleaning fee that is either a resort fee or it's a service fee. I don't care what you call it, but there's a fee of some sort, usually $75 or $100, that pays for the person that's coming in to clean. And depending on the size, it might be much more than that. But depending on the size of your place and how much there is to do, you may end up charging a higher service fee. Now, there's also a damage fee that you're going to charge the customer as well, which is just a damage deposit. And so there are added fees that add up the price. And of course, we're in a competitive market, so you want to keep your prices low. But my suggestion is that you figure out a way to build in the price of the cleaning into your price. Because even if your room is a little bit more expensive and it's not bottom rate, If you have great ratings and reviews, and it's because you yourself do the cleaning or you pay an excellent cleaning service to do it for you, then a customer will stay at your place, all things being equal, because it's a better product and a better value than a cheaper place that has a lesser rating and review, and they don't focus as much or spend as much time or pay for a cleaner. So I'm not saying that you have the cheapest place in town and that you don't do a great job. What I'm saying is that it's okay if you charge a little bit more, but you are able to provide the amenities and the cleanliness that people are expecting when they come to your place. Now, we know by Airbnb that the five-star ratings get 20% more bookings on average. And one of the things, probably the biggest thing that drives those ratings and reviews is amazing cleaning. So when somebody comes to your house, if they have just this outstanding experience, They're going to be so pleased and so delighted. And of course, as a host, some of that is your welcoming charisma, but the rest of it is going to be your cleaning. So it is really important that you focus on your cleaning. And as an Airbnb owner, you will burn out if you don't pay yourself in the process. Airbnb cleaning is grueling. You're resetting your place two, three, four times a week sometimes. And that's a lot of cleaning from top to bottom every single time. So you you need to make sure that you pay yourself so that everybody gets their living wage.